Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to the Darts Review channel. In this video I've got an exclusive review for you courtesy of Mark from Love Darts channel and it's a set of darts that he's had designed. I think he's done three or four sets now. I don't know if this is, it, it must be the third set I think. And basically Mark really likes like the Elysian thing and the, the theme of making a really um, luxurious kind of a barrel and I think that's what he's aimed for with these and when you see them you will probably agree it's kind of like a cheaper version of an Elysium but of the same high quality a really nice start that he's made here and he's calling these the Love Darts Eva now just to give you a little bit background on it the darts are 23 gram and they're going to be sold for £69.99 which obviously seems expensive for somebody who's just doing a, a custom kind of a one-off but when you see how well machined they are and it's got the two cortons I think you'll agree it's definitely worth that um, but the reason why it's called them Eve Eva is because it's a derivative uh, derivative <laughs> of Eve which means life and tragically not so long ago Mark lost both his parents um, his mum had died after an illness and then not long after his dad suddenly oh man it makes me sad as well I was thinking of my mum and dad <laughs> but anyway he was suffering quite badly after that and his girlfriend Zoe it's he said she kind of like saved his life so that's basically a tribute to his parents these darts and also Eve Eva was a character on the animated movie Wally -E, and it's one of his favorite movies and the reason why is because it adds songs from the musical Hello Dolly and that starred Michael Crawford and his mother went out with Michael Crawford when she was younger so he's basically made these as a tribute to his parents and that whole scenario um, so let's check them out So as I mentioned, the darts are only available in 23 gram, the 95% tungsten. There is no soft tip and Mark is selling them for £69.99, but I'll put the links to Mark in the description. So if you want to set, get in touch with him. So if you buy a set of these from Mark, they'll be sent in a, uh, a dart wallet like this and they'll come with these new Love Darts flights standard shape flights kind of a, a mirror silvery heart on there with the the darts that's his logo uh, yeah same on all the wings neat looking flight and inside you got the barrels in a little plastic bag and they're fitted into a point holder but come supplied with some of the i think they're the harrows dimplex yeah uh, they look as if they may be short I think and that is the darts which I'll show you a close up just now now I think he said he's got about 50 sets of them for sale but he will be getting more so I'll put all the information up in the description so you can get hold of him if you fancy a set that's fitted with a custom made point and as you can see it's got a kind of etched diamond pattern now the darts were designed with Mark from uh, Zach along with Zach Thornton and as you can see it's got a kind of a bronze titanium coating on one half and then a deep black titanium coating on the other half and the shape of the barrel I think Mark based it on one of the Mission Chiron models I can't remember which one basically he went to try all the darts and that one seemed to be the one that worked best for him and so i would say for mid grippers you've got a really nicely balanced dart there and it does feel nice in the fingers the front here he said that was based on a, a barrel from a, an old magnum so i can see what he means the bit where you put the bullets in and this tapered front is made of very fine 
kind of nano rings and grooves and then kind of like v-shaped cuts i think he said they were calling it the vampire cuts or something um but not hugely grippy but there's still a kind of decent level of grip there the midsection is with the grenade grip that was on his other darts it kind of like curved rings with a nano grip etched on and then staggered lateral cuts so that's a decent level of grip again but the rear section for me is very interesting looking i just love the way the light kind of like shimmers on it and it's really hard to describe the, what this is it's kind of like angled rings with kind of hexagon shapes cut in and staggered on each row and i think mark was thinking about calling it a quartz grip but it actually reminds me more of whitby jet if you've ever been to to whitby and seen the jewelry that was made from the fossilized uh, jet it kind of has similar cuts to that when the when they shape it and that and that definitely reminds me of that and then you've got a small taper on the end with the logo but as you can see really neat looking barrel very nicely machined it's fitted with the harrow's dimplex stems and the love dart standard shape flights with kind of like a mirror logo so there's the uh, custom diamond etch points and that tapered nose at the front there like i say it's kind of like based on a bullet chamber on a magnum revolver and then you've got this slightly curved tapered front half and it's kind of like uh, i would say like nano cut rings with fairly deep v-shaped grooves in in cut into it so and you might be able to see it a little bit better from the side there like that but all that has got the bronzy colored tie coat on and then you've got a single ring and uh, around the middle i would say you've got the grenade section and that's kind of like a curved ring grip with kind of like nano grooves on and then staggered notches and then you've got a single groove with the silvery tungsten showing through and on the rear you've got this very interesting grip just look at the way the light plays on that makes your eyes go funny <laughs> um now i don't really know how you describe it like i said it's kind of like angled rings but these oval shaped staggered notches cut into it makes a nice effect though and then a smooth tapered section on the end with the logo so there you go that's the super close look at the love darts eva darts <laughs> So the darts fit with the custom made 30 millimeter point with the diamond etching you've got that small kind of bullet chamber at the front 2.6 millimeters then the tapered section with the vampire cuts 13.7 millimeters then including the rings either side and the grenade grip that's 11.2 millimeters around the middle then the obsidian quartz grip on the rear with the black tie coating 12.5 millimeters and then a small smooth section on the end 5 millimeters length 45 millimeters width 7.85 millimeters twenty three point eleven grams twenty three point eleven grams again and twenty three point eleven so perfectly match weighted full setup 24.63 grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights grippiest part for me was the middle section so six at most You're bloody joking me <laughs> high power i can feel it all right that's for you stephen hudson <laughs> oh.
a 180 yes I certainly wasn't expecting that <laughs> hey where did that come from new watch now 26 <laughs> or I'll probably completely miss the board oh treble one told you 28 I was two out <laughs> And you can see yourself in, in the in the flights, damn it. I forgot to comb my hair. That's better. <laughs> um I forgot what I was gonna say now. Uh, I'm holding it on the taper, but maybe where the taper is starting to get a little bit wider. And that front section, although it kind of looks as if it's a, an aggressive grip, it's actually it's quite a mild feeling grip. Can it anything now? <laughs> and I don't know, it, it kind of looks like the edges of all the cuts have kind of had like a slight smoothness to them. I think if they were like really sharp and defined, you'd probably find it a little bit more grippy. But anyway, balance is, is rather nice, but it is only a, a short barrel. Um, I'm going to try it from the middle and have a couple of goes from there because I think even though it's probably not right for me that's probably the sweet spot for mid grippers and it's obviously where Mark has put the grenade grip so I, I guess that's probably where he's gripping it so I'll have a couple of tries from that oh, ankle hurt then damn it what have I done there? <laughs> That's just typical that. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the, the sweet spot balance there is really nice. And I think Mark and Zach were aiming to, to do that, like get a nice balance. And Obviously, with it being tapered either side, uh, that's probably why. Somebody's talking outside my front again. Every time when I'm coming to do my reviews, they're talking out there and putting me off. <laughs> I'm going to have to send Rocky out to get him. That last one went really nice. So, definitely, if you're a mid-gripper, you're gonna like it there. I think it's a little bit more grippy as well. So I'll try it from the rear section. I just can't stop spinning it. Just the way that light glints on it, it just looks so nice. But again, I think that rear section is probably a lot less grippy than it looks. It almost has a slightly slippy feel to me. So whether it's one of them grips that may feel different depending on the individual, I don't know. I think the last one went all right. One more go from that rear section. And then I'll try and meet challenges and see how I get on. Oh, that was really smooth through the air, but not on target. Oh, treble one again. Oh, well, it's probably not right for me there, but if you're a rear gripper and you like that style then it might be fine for you but like I say I think mid grippers have probably got the, the best of the dark
Oh well, <laughs> my trusty double three saved me. That's one. Too hard. There's two. No, no, well, that's five. That's three. Thirty-three. Should have done better there. That's four. Six, I think it should have done better there, but my shoulder was in. Well, 
That's 25. I think my shoulder's had it. <laughs> it's uh, aching. When I get to, to lift it, it's just a pain there. It, it's always a problem, but I think I've just been playing a bit too much lately and I've aggravated it. That's another 25, that's 50. That's 75, last throw. Uh, that's uh, 150. <laughs> So there you go, that's the Love Darts Eva. I think I probably would have done a bit better on them challenges there, but my shoulders start to bother me. No, I've done too many reviews in a row lately, and, I, and normally I have a, a day off between each review just to let my shoulders settle down, but I think I've just aggravated. It's where I broke it on the bone down here. If I just touch it slightly, it's very painful, so it, it must have got a bit inflamed. So. Not a lot I can do about it, and when I lift my arm up, <laughs> it's in quite a bit of pain. So, anyway, the darts themselves, a really nice machined barrel, very fancy looking darts. And like I said on the uh, review of the um, Archon darts, that is kind of like an affordable Elysian dart, and these are an even more affordable Elysian style of barrel. Just look at that machine and on that rear grip, it is really nicely done that. And I think in terms of the dart itself, it's probably gonna be best for people who are gripping it around the middle because it just feels like the sweet spot there and balance is really nice on there. But I hit a 180 with it from the front, so it'll work for front grippers and it'll definitely work for rear grippers as well. So if that's the kind of style that you like and you fancy having a go of them, then you'll have to get in touch with Mark. I'll put the links up uh, to where you can get in touch with him in the description. And like I say, the 69.99, I think he said he has about 50 sets, but he's gonna get more. Um, he's got more to come. So I'm sure they'll sell out fairly quick. And although, like I said, it, it sounds inexpensive for somebody who's just doing it on their own thing. Uh, when you've ever done something like this yourself, you realize how expensive um, getting such a dart like this can be so i think it's quite a decent price that so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them and i'll see you in the next one happy darting